Hello, this is Billy Core from the Carolina Circle Mall Wiki. Today is Wednesday, January the 25th of 2017, and we are back once again with the Packard Bell Legend 1510 Supreme. And the purpose of this, uh, ugh, the purpose of this video is to um, show how to do something kind of interesting involving Windows 95. How do you use a USB flash drive in Windows 95? Most people would say it's completely impossible. But I'm here to tell you that it is indeed possible. That's right, folks. Now, this only works with Windows 95 OSR 2.1 and 2.5. Um, anything before that, particularly um, 95 RTM, will not do this. It has to have you have to be running a version of Windows 95 with um, USB support. And um, this Packard Bell Legend 1510 Supreme, I actually installed a um, PCI USB card in it last night, which actually does kind of work with Windows 95. I can only get about two of the um, USB ports to work, but for what I'm going to be using this for, I only need one anyway, so no big deal. So, um, there are as you know, there is a widely known um, USB flash driver for Windows 98, but where do you get one for Windows 95? Well, let me point you in the direction of ToastyTech.com. Now, um, before we um, continue, I just want to say this is one of my favorite websites in the entire world. I first discovered this website back in... Um, the spring of 2005 when I was first getting into 90s nostalgia and into old computers and whatnot um, particularly the um, part about um, GUIs, um, aka the GUI gallery this is run by uh, Mr. Nathan Linebeck and he is a really cool guy, does a lot of cool stuff but one thing um, in particular that he's done that is really cool, which is the subject of this video, is um, the um, Windows 95 driver for USB flash drives. Um, and I will put a link in the description um, to get to this. And, and here it is right here. Um, USB flash, uh, okay, 95 USB flash 11.exe. And... This works with um, most USB flash drives. Um, most of the ones I've used over the years have worked, um, um, but mileage will vary, obviously. And I've um, already got that downloaded, and I've and I have it on a um, floppy disk. So we're going to go ahead and install it on here. Uh, first, let's. Um, get the tripod up. Okay, um, first things first, let's just see what kind of files we've got on the disk. Okay, everything looks good there. Um, now, um, what I would recommend doing is, if you have this on a floppy disk or CD or whatever, um, Bernoulli disk, worm drive. <laughs> I would um, recommend copying it from the disk onto your hard drive. Just um, so if you have to install another flash, another USB flash drive, um, the drivers will already be on the hard drive, and you won't have to go searching for your floppy disk every time you use a different flash drive. So um, we'll just name it um, US. Uh, USB flash driver. That's what we'll name the folder. And we'll um, paste it from the floppy drive. Alright, and put the, the floppy disk away. And now um, we need to take the um, USB flash drive of your choice. Um, this is a flash drive I usually keep out here in my office. This is a 16 gigabyte Transcend drive that my friend, um, YouTube user Power Mac Galaxy, got me for um, Christmas back in 2013. Very nice of him. Although I will say I, I do want to get an, another one to put out here because I'm about to run out of space on here. So um, I actually have a um, USB extension cable um, plugged into the 
back of the computer make things easier for when I'm plugging this stuff in go ahead and um, plug her on in all right new hardware found all right we want to click next click other locations and we're gonna browse the folder we created on the hard drive in my case it's USB flash driver all right Windows has found the following updated driver for this device USB mass storage device until it finish okay we need to directed it once again to the um, folder we made ah oh. it's not here oh you know what this disk had some hidden files on here and I have hidden files um, set to hide so um, we need to rectify that show all files this is the one that's hidden we'll copy it over to um, our folder on the hard drive we'll go ahead and rehide everything there we go Again, mileage will vary. Um, this probably doesn't work with every flash drive known to man. And obviously, you want it to have you want it to be formatted in um, FAT32. Because Windows 95 is not NTFS friendly. Alright, let's see if um, we've succeeded. Looks like we have. And there you go. There's all my files. And we can, um, and I have a bunch of stuff on here we can install from it. Like, um, for instance, After Dark, <coughs> or not. Okay, um, just pro tip, don't use that file. <laughs> so yeah, that toastytech.com, if you've um, never been there, I highly recommend checking um, that website out. A lot of cool stuff on there if you're into um, vintage computing. And he's also the biggest hater of Internet Explorer in the entire world, especially version 4. He even has a, a separate website dedicated to um, how horrible Internet, Internet Explorer is. <laughs> See, so yeah, this does make um, it a lot more convenient to... Um, have an old computer like this um, communicate with um, the modern world easily um, copy files to and fro like I'm doing right now oh um, one prerequisite um, if you have a fresh install of Windows 95 OSR 2.1 or 2.5, you do need to install the um, Microsoft USB Supplement Tool, which is usually um, included on your Windows 95 CD. Okay, did After Dark install? Well, I think it killed my computer. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, it's all glitching out now, which is nice. <laughs> So yeah, there you have it. Very, very simple way to get Windows 95 um, to work with a USB flash drive. So for now, this is Billy Core signing off.